Hey, if you're interested in learning how to change your header uh, colors in Obsidian, as well as the outgoing links or the future links that you're gonna be building, then this video is for you. Hey there, my name is Brandon, and if you saw the video that I put out yesterday, the, the three favorite themes that I'm liking for Obsidian here so far, then you'll know that I settled in on the blue topaz theme. And in this video, what I wanna do is I'm gonna show you how to use the One Community plugin uh, to style set the, the heading color, this H1, Actually, you can change all of them, H2, H3, H4, as well as your your links that you have already set up or links that you're going to be setting up in the future uh, in case you don't care for those colors. So what you wanna do is head down here to the lower left-hand corner and you'll notice uh, the community plugins. You'll wanna make sure that the style settings plugin uh, is loaded up and activated with, uh, with a sliding bar here. And then if you click on the options, You'll notice that it has the blue topaz theme in here and then what you're able to do is let me kind of close the and you can change the font if you don't like the font you can change the font uh, you can do a lot of different things with these style settings but what i really want you to notice is if i come down here to the headers there is h there's header one as well as you can change the header two you can change the the uh you can change all of the headers right here in this section but what you really want to pay particular attention to is the header color there's a light and the dark version so this one here kind of shows what the color would be with your light background and then this is what it would be with the dark background suppose we want to change um let's say this heading one here we're going to change it from a white to maybe a, a, a bright green maybe so if i come over to here and do blue topaz theme come down to the header one um, actually let me save this color just so I have it um, saved so that we can switch back to it very easily and I'm going to let's say that we're gonna go with this nice bright green is gonna be our h1 color okay so once I switch that over, I gotta be able to come over here and anything that has the H1 header tag is going to have the new color, okay? So hopefully that makes sense so far. And next I'm gonna show you the links, but let me just uh, switch that one back so we can get it to the original uh, white that it was. I'll click save. Okay, so the next thing then that we're going to want to do is if we scroll down to 2.3.9, you'll see this uh, menu item here that says links. That's exactly where we're going to go into. And what you'll notice is this internal link color. So right now it's just the default. But again, let's say that we want to set the links to be the uh, like a, a crazy green color. And, and I'm just picking green because it's nice and bright. So if I click on that on the dark version of the theme it's now going to have actual internal links will be green and then what you also want to take note of is uh, do you see this unresolved link color right now it's set to red let's say that we want to make unresolved links be maybe this gold color okay if i'm going to click save on that so now we have active links are green this orangish yellow is going to be the unresolved so you can kind of see that these links are popping out pretty quickly the internal links as well as we have the the future this is just a uh, a future placeholder for a note that has not been created yet all right so i hope you like that video one other thing that i want to show you is if i come back over here to the settings let's say that you want to start back over you're not liking anything that's going on you can come back in here and if I if I click this here, it will restore this to the default that the theme originally came that the plugin originally came loaded with. So you don't have to worry about making mistakes or anything like that, not being able to uh, go back to what it was. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, leave me some comments down below. And if you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe to the channel uh, as I get ready to put out some other videos on Obsidian as I learn my way through it, uh, or give me a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. Take care.